Hey guys, if you deleted your launch software uh, after getting the unit because you got confused like I did, let me help you uh, fix the solution. First, I'm going to show you how to download it, how to click it. I wanna provide you a link in the description below where you could actually access this page, but you're gonna to need to uh, go according to your serial, serial number and your device. I'm gonna show you kind of like where to look for it because if you look through the uh, manual books and stuff like that, you're not gonna really find it there. You're gonna find it on the device itself. So I'm gonna show you which one to select. So let me show you. Here I'm at the... <clears throat> so here I'm at the download page. And as you could see, these two uh, match my description. But you see how this one's got HD3 online? That's not correct. I would need to match up this with this number but mine matches with 98928 so i'm gonna need to download this version so i'm gonna need to hit continue so it's showing that it's uh downloading over here so let's see Maybe we we'll swipe that down. Here's where it's downloading. I'm on a very fast internet here uh, at Verizon. So I'm trying to download it as fast as possible. Yesterday I tried to update it and I had like one of the updates failed and I clicked on it and then it gave me an option to delete something. So I figured deleting a bad update, right? Wrong. I deleted the whole software, which then caused me to <laughs> be a little bit worried okay let's see um, for, for your security your phone is not allowed to install unknown apps okay so let's go to Chrome so allow from the source guess then let's go back uh, then I have to hit install now it's installing Okay, block by play protect. This app can collect data. Install anyways. So I will provide a page in the description below. Um, the actual video description. Like how to actually do this, okay? So I'm gonna again allow, 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 allow. Okay, it's starting to look a bit better. So I seriously deleted this thing yesterday man like uh, it was like it caught me really 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 off guard i was like what the heck how did i just do that you know so i figured it might be somebody else out there that is an idiot like me and uh turns out i looked i didn't find anything i had to contact several launch websites um i first look up uh x431.com i did find them i tried to look up launch that did not work and then these are the only websites that are kind of like official and wasn't really sure if I could trust them so I emailed them and stuff like that um, from where I actually bought this unit on Amazon and uh, it worked out so I'm not sure kind of like what's going on right now so we're just gonna go here oh I'm just gonna go right there so I don't see where this software is so it looks like it placed it here. So let's see, I'm gonna like drag it out. Nope, that's not gonna work. I don't know what the heck did I just do. So that's my files, we don't need that. I want to drag it out to my to my screen. I just put it over here somewhere. I 
thought I could put it along with these other apps. Apparently not. So let's go into the actual software. I mean, it seemed like it was just like loading, but not doing anything. So I'm really not sure what the heck is going on. As you could see, I have this one opened. There's really nothing else opened. So I'm not sure why am I stuck at this screen here. Nothing's really happening. So let's just shut it down. Okay, good. It did load. Good, 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 good. Um, so I gotta put my username in. So after I logged in, and if you're not logged in, you're gonna need to log in. Uh, and if you do not have an account, I'm gonna show you how to create an account. You're going to look for a piece of paper like this that came with your unit. Where my thumb is, there's my number. And if you cut off the edges, you open it up, there's another number. You're gonna need the first number and the second number in order to register your device and create an account. So now we're gonna try to update immediately. Hopefully this will do it. So let's go to update. Let's choose one of the items. Okay, so let's just choose everything. So I have selected everything. Boom. So let's just hit update. Should start updating. And things are moving along rather quickly, which is nice. But yesterday I was on a weak Wi-Fi and I had something that failed, not sure what. But I clicked on it just like over here, you know, and, um, it, you know, I was thinking like it's to do it manually. And as I was doing manually, one of the prompts was to delete the software, which uh, be careful with that. If you do, uh, it will ruin your day to say the least, because if you don't know what the heck you're doing, uh, how to get it back, the software, you just got the unit. You, you might think you just bricked your unit. So, yeah, this is gonna be a way for you to fix everything. And I really love this unit. Like, it's really cool. Like, it's nice and thick. It's got a heavy duty body. I love it. Now, this is what I wanna see. So, it says continue update. I'm just gonna hit okay for now. So, let's, let's see what it just gives me. So, it says connecting. Okay, good. Uh, it's not gonna connect because uh, I have a different unit plugged in. So I have a Carly plugged in over there. So that's not gonna work. So now I'm opening um, Google. Yeah, Google, uh, this just, uh, it has failed. Uh, we're not trying to scan anything right now. So, uh, but what I do need to download is Carly. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Carly. It is this little device. Man, Carly's kind of awesome. You could actually program a lot of stuff uh, into your car with Carly. Problem is, Apple does not have the BMW version. Okay, so like BMW came up right away, so. So let's see. So, Carly Solutions. So, this just like looks like a normal Carly. I'm just gonna install it for now just so we have something. And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna search for the BMW one. So, I have Carly. I did not see the BMW version, which was weird. So, we have this here. 
I'll have to just get started. I don't like that I could only use it in uh, portrait mode like this because I would like to hang my device and uh, it's just not working out. Um, so I guess let's just, uh, I don't know, like how can we really do this? It's kind of hard to hold my phone and at the same time do it. Okay, I'm gonna have to be careful. So let's see, I'm gonna connect. <laughs> this might fall off my BMW. Um, so I got the unit plugged in. The reason I'm showing you this is you could use other devices um, along with your uh, launch unit here. You could, whatever other Bluetooth device you have, now you can have a beautiful screen to have it on and you could have all your scan tools in one if you have like other Bluetooth devices. You might be wondering why would you even need this um i'm gonna show you why i'm not sure what launch can do but i'm a little bit more familiar with uh with carly and for instance for instance for the bmw there's coding so i go into coding and you see this little thing and you just hit uh, continue um check now it's like running I could program anything with this thing uh, for the car. Unfortunately, I could not get the BMW version. Now, normally, for some reason, I only seen it available for Android. Um, but I don't know what's going on. I only seen one version, and it's just Carly. That's it. Um, because you cannot program the car battery with this Carly for some reason. And kind of like how I ran into it is I bought Carly so I could actually do that so anyways we have number of compatible ACUs 11 and then it's got like shit <laughs> I knew that's gonna happen okay at least it fell on me not the other way around I need to just balance it good thing this thing is like really really heavy duty as you see that already kind of helped but but anyways we got mirrors we got telephone body window seatbelt anti-theft anti-theft light uh module dashboard instrument cluster we could program that so let's go into that dashboard i already programmed my key to do various things like my key will open up uh windows it will close windows and sunroof um so it tries to like back up the current coding so that you don't screw anything up and you could return the coding back to where it was uh so digital speedometer it's on so this car does not have a digital speedometer but let's see um oh yeah i guess that little display so i could actually turn it off as you could see here we don't want to do that uh digital speedometer correction correct speed uh uh corrected speed speed limit warning off gps time correction on blank information because this car does have gps so i guess that's something ignition key warning uh seat belt warning off so yeah, i actually already did that cruise control speed uh display uh i did that okay so i already have that so i'm just gonna go back because you could you know code the car and everything um so right here locking comfort functions i believe under this one is where you have the ability to open your windows with your remote and stuff. So that's already reading the data and then you could just like easily change anything. So you got all these comfort alerts, easy entry on, all of these different things. And you could go into it and you could just do whatever the heck you want, you know? So anyways, I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'll just go back. Uh, okay, it says uh, your benefits. Customize your car um, especially to your needs. Change the style of your car. Lights, if you see turn off functions that you don't like. See, the, see it's kind it's kind of cool, you know, um, that you could that you could do that. Um, so I'm just gonna back up. So kind of shows up your current vehicle like that. Uh, and you could just hit um, like whatever, like you could just do like diagnostics, you could do live data. And it kind of tells you kind of like what's going on with your car. 
why is my okay display was kind of dark so let's see if i click on engine so what do we have here oil level well let's take a look at the oil level i mean we should be we should be good it could be like a old um let's see it could be an old old indication of oil uh everything's good now um let's see oil level blah 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 So this basically tells you kind of like the smart mechanic feature. I have to pay extra for this. Gives you all the other codes and stuff. And says not serious. But anyways, um, I'm going to be done with this. Uh, I will actually get into it a little bit more, but we have obviously some of these uh, issues here, but we don't really need to mess with anything right now. Everything's good. Anyways, if you're downloading um, your unit software, you're going to need this, uh, I guess, as a number, you're going to need the first five digits right here to, correct, uh, to uh, download the correct software. Hope that helps, guys.